Hey guys, I have finally shot a tutorial of this look that you all requested to see. If you'd like to try this low lights moon child look, please keep watching. I'm going to be applying my foundation with this Fearless Cosmetics brush, CB3. I've been using this brush a lot actually. I just press the foundation into my skin. I do like using like my beauty blender but I just find it's quicker to get more coverage with the brush I'm now going to apply my concealer I'm using Napoleon Perdez set concealer in the shade look one I'm going to use my damp sponge to blend out my concealer. Now that I've finished blending off my concealer, I'm going to be using this Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder. It's just a translucent powder and I, like seriously, I use it all the time. It's my favourite, it's light. It's velvety, um, so yeah, I'm going to use it to set my concealer so it doesn't crease. I'm just using my sponge as well. And I'm just going to apply it under my eye area. I'm just going to sweep away the powder now using my Dose of Colours powder blush brush. So to get started with my eyes, I'm using this Kat Von D High Voltage Eye Primer. I'm just going to apply it all over my eye. I'm either going I'm even going to bring it up to my brow bone as well because it works as a little bit of a concealer as well, I find. I'm going to be using the Balm Meet Matte Nude palette and I'm going to be using Matte Sin and Matte Rosen. So this colour and this colour in my crease. Now I'm going to start using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. I'm really excited. I mean, just, please, like, just, what is this? Whoops. These colors are just, they're stunning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Gerard Cosmetics um, Slay All Day Setting Spray. This is in the smell Tea and Ginger. I'm just going to spray a bit, maybe a lot. Okay, so I'm just basically going to pat it on my lid. Um, I just, this is just so pretty. Okay. I'm now moving on to my winged liner. I am using NYX Cosmetics Matte Liquid Liner.
I'm applying Sugar Pill Bulletproof Eyeshadow just under my lower lash line. I'm now blending Sugar Pill Cosmetics 2AM with Bulletproof. Now I'm blending out the shadows using Sugar Pill Dolly Pop. contour and highlight my face. I'm going to use Lunatic Cosmetic Labs contour palette. This is the inside. I really like the contour shades which I'm going to be using because they have a grey undertone. They're not just a flat, um, you know, orangey brown. So I'm going to take my shade and light brush from Kat Von D and I'm using this shade up here. Brush along my cheekbone and along my jaw and then just up here. I'm now going to use these lighter shades as my highlight. blush I'm going to use this Urban Decay Gwen Stefani blush palette and I'm going to use this shade here Oops. <laughs> um, called Easy. I'm using a combination of colours from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild kit and I'm going to be using it on my cheekbones, on my chin, on my nose, basically anywhere where I want it to shine. <laughs> I look crazy but I promise it's going to be worth it.
to achieve the low lights look, I'm going to use a dimmer that is attached to my ring light. 